Tim's in a quarry behind me is Union Temple, and it, it was vandalized last night. Someone broke in and scrawled anti Semitic remarks inside, and that person has been arrested. A late word tonight from the NYPD that they have made an arrest in this case. Now, inside here tonight during Shabbat services, it was all about a call for unity. A steady stream of people entering Union Temple of Brooklyn. People of all faiths encouraged to take part in the campaign, show up for Shabbat. When people are attacked because of their religion or their race or their nationality, people have to stand in solidarity together. Hashtag show up for Shabbat has been trending on social media as a show of support for the Jewish community after 11 people were gunned down inside a Pittsburgh synagogue last weekend. We're all here together to say this is not okay and not in our community. The NYPD says they've investigated over 140 anti-Semitic incidents citywide so far this year, over two dozen incidents in the past month alone. Just last night, police say this man broke into Union Temple and scrawled anti-Semitic words and sayings inside. He was arrested this evening. It's been so disturbing, a scheduled event here was canceled out of safety. This event was shocking and dismaying and disheartening and and it's it's worrisome. This follows another hateful act on Tuesday in Brooklyn Heights, where homes were vandalized with swastikas and racial slurs. Tonight, the mayor spoke at Union Temple. I'm just going to go in and provide support and solidarity with the members of this congregation and let them know there will be police presence here. There will be extra police presence in the coming days. To the Jewish tradition of Shabbat is observed from sunset Friday to sunset Saturday. It's a time for worship, prayer, and gatherings and meals with loved ones. Now, you heard the mayor mention that there will be extra police a presence outside synagogues and temples. Well, even at 10 o'clock tonight, I can tell you that right now there is an NYPD police cruiser parked outside. Meantime, the campaign hashtag show up for Shabbat continues through this weekend, and tomorrow marks the one week anniversary since that horrific mass shooting in Pittsburgh. We're live in Prospect Heights tonight. Shirley Chan, PIX 11 News.